hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful center ruffles so the first step is making your pleats you can make up to three to five pleats or eight pleats depending on how big or long your gele is so since my gele is just two pieces joined together so i just made three pleats then i place it at the back of the head that's if you're going to tie this towel on your client's head or your model's head it's, you place it at the back of her head first before arranging your pleats. So after making my pleats, I'm placing it at the back of her head. Sorry, at the back of this dummy's head. I trace the pleats and pin it down. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I am going to trace the three pleats I made before. And I am also going to pin it down. So that's just what I'm doing. I'm trying to arrange my pleats to look nice before pinning it so make your pleats to be very nice because it really adds to the beauty of your ghillie so i'm going to just pin it there that's the v that's that make sure that that v um style comes out that v really adds to the beauty of this um ruffle center ruffles ghillie make sure that there is a v in front so after that i'm going to twist the other hand and twist the other hand too and cross it over that's what i'm just doing so guys i forgot to tell you guys that if you're going to tie this gilly make sure that the length of your gilly is 50 50 50 50 make sure that it's the same it's the same length before you tie this style or even secondly made one length to be longer than the other but you didn't try as i'm making your center ruffles make sure that it still looks nice well we are after that we are after the finishing look of the gilet we're not really after all those you know all those rules just make sure that at the end your gilet looks nice okay so what i did was i i used the other lens and pinned it down so that as i'm mis making my ruffles it doesn't it doesn't fall off so that was why i pinned it down as you guys saw it so i just made my ruffles ruffles don't really have any pattern the way I make my ruffles can be different from the way another person makes his uh, ruffles. And ruffles do not have, like, it's not um, something that you should make today and then tomorrow you expect to make that same ruffles again. The way I'm, I'm using my fingers to twist it will not be the same way I'm using my fingers to twist it if I'm to do it again tomorrow. Don't worry, at the end of this video, you guys are going to see um, some ruffles, center ruffles I made on my clients and my model's head. So I am done making the ruffles with this other length. So I am going to go ahead with the other length to make my ruffles. So this other length was longer than the other one. So I am, but I'm still going to make sure that I make it very nice. So I am going to pin it down to hold it firm. Like I'm just trying to set a foundation so that when I make my ruffles, it does not fall off. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm 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 pinning the the length down the length of the gilet down so I'm, I'm done with that so right now i'm just twisting and folding to make my ruffles so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to join it so that it doesn't even look like something that we used to length to make i am going to join the ruffles with the other one i made before so it's going to look like it's just one ruffles nobody will know that it's two ruffles so you have to pin it very nice so that it doesn't look so obvious that you made two ruffles and join it together it's just going to look like it's just one ruffles so that's what you guys are just seeing now so i am just going to make sure that the ruffle sits perfectly nice on my dummy's head and then i'm just trying to make it to be of the same size so that this other side will not look bigger than the other one so that's what i'm doing i'm just trying to make it look very nice and perfect I'm trying to add finishing touches to my gilet now. Any place that you feel that you should pin, pin it well to be more secured and nice. So, as you guys can see, my gilet is already set. So, the back, it depends on how your clients want it. If your clients want it open, you open it and pin it for her. If she wants it closed, like she wants it to cover her head, you then hold it and pin it well for her. 
so this assume that my client <laughs> wants it open so i just made it like that so guys you are done and that is how simple this center office is i hope that you enjoyed this video and i have been able to make it so simple for you guys but nevertheless if you still have questions you can leave it in the comment section so this particular one i made it for my model like i called her to come and be my model for that day so i made this center ruffles for her and i made it to look like a headband i did not make the pleats before making the ruffle i just went ahead to make it in form of a headband so if you don't want to make the pleats you can make it like this it's still nice so this other one i made it in the shop but this one is quite bigger than the one i used this one is four like four joinings while the one i used was just two joinings so this one looks bigger because of the length and the size of her gala i hope you love it and you have learned um how to tie the center ruffles you can try this out it's a very unique style it gives you this classy look this which anti vibes get so um if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do to subscribe this other one i made it for my client and it was this was the first ever center ruffles i made ever in my life and it was for my client so if you haven't tried center ruffles then you are definitely missing out you need to try this when next you are going for that big wedding or you're just laying out maybe on your birthday you can do well to try this center ruffles it's so nice it's so unique it gives you this classy look and this is what is trending right now so you guys have to follow the trend okay so please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed if you guys also want to see a tutorial on how to make this beautiful pinnacle gile, you can drop your comments in the comment section indicating if you want it. Then I will make a video on this gile tutorial on how to make this pinnacle gile tutorial. It's very simple and I'm tr and trust me to make it very simple for you guys, okay? Please, if you love my video, please support me by subscribing and also please share my videos because if you share it, another person might see it and like it and definitely subscribe to my channel, please. So you guys should support me. I'm hoping on you guys to support me. Subscribe, like, share and leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts about this video. And let me know what you, you have observed in this video so that I can improve my subsequent videos. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm saying this again. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much guys for watching and bye-bye. <laughs>